Hi Tauruses, welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K and this is your February 2018 reading. This reading is going to start out with finances and then I'm going to move into the love and romance energy spreads. All right, so uh, to make the video a little bit shorter, I started out with a newer deck that I just received called the Enchanted Map by Colette Baron reed who I love. I have more than one by Colette. And yes, combined it with the Gateway to the Divine Tarot for clarification. So we'll move up into all of this in a minute. I'm just going to quick uh, grab a word of prayer, please, to close the reading with at the end for those born under the sun sign, moon sign, and or rising sign of Taurus. Okay, so when it comes to finances, which is what I pulled energies for already, I prayed and I blessed the cards with my stones and etc. Um, we've got a circle spread here speaking of someone starting out in a deep freeze. Uh, someone starting out where they're feeling kind of stuck and they're looking at something that's being offered to them, but they're just not sure if they want to take it. Now, I'm not only just feeling these financially, I'm feeling like this is a personal situation. So however it may apply to you and whichever energies I'm pulling, if I'm not pulling yours direct, you can write me at my email and I can pull your readings. Uh, just write me at josiek42 at gmail.com and the information is listed in the box below. So in your uh, mental aspects position of a circle spread, we've got the dragon's lair. So this is feeling comfortable, like feeling protected, but yet with the five of swords, it's like there's like negative energies, negative thoughts, negative emotions and feelings, even though you're in a protected environment. So it's like you're just angry and frustrated about something. Uh, in your thoughts in the next week and a half or two. Now, in your relationship sector, now this is relationship sometimes to a business. Maybe someone got stabbed in the back and you feel like you can't move anywhere from the department or the situation that you're in and you're needing to just go and find some solitude. I'm also feeling like this is someone who is trying to find solitude so that they can work through these difficult feelings and emotions. And whoever this is, you're protected in a safe space right now, and it may feel like you're stuck, but a spirit which just really wants you to acknowledge what they're offering you. Because this could be a life-changing situation for someone, and I'll continue and explain why. Now, in your creative aspects position, we've got the cleaning house. Somebody is getting out from under something that was very heavy on their back, and they are deciding to clean up their act. Okay, so maybe you guys caused something for yourself. However, something became too much, now's the time to clean up your act, okay, is what those cards are saying. All right, so in your actions position, Spirit is encouraging you guys and giving you the Sun card energies, feeling very good about yourselves, taking the steps to encourage yourself, to encourage others, to give yourself a pat on the back for the things that are you that you are doing that are starting to make everything flow beautifully. So those of you who are choosing to make and take the right steps and do the right thing, you're going to start receiving encouragement from those around you, but you're also going to start seeing the success. You're going to start seeing everything start to flow beautifully once again in your life. If you apply these energies and Listen to how you can use them in your path. <coughs> Pardon me. Now, in your emotional aspects position, there's listening here. Taking the time to listen to spirit, to pray to spirit. When it comes to a new path in career and finances, or a new path in general, that is a blessing. That's helping for you to get out from under whatever this was, whatever this needed was that needed to be cleaned up. Now you can step in a new path of financial prosperity. Listen to spirit. They're going to guide you. They're going to help you if you feel like you don't know how to get out from under where you're at. It will be revealed if you pray. Now, in your subconscious, you've got ghost lands. Okay, so this is feeling stuck in time. Subconsciously, you may feel stuck, but I think you know, you guys, that if you 
accept offers and opportunities that are coming to you in the month of February 2018 that you're going to be able to fall beautifully into where it is you've always wanted to go. You'll sign the contracts. You'll come into a connection and a partnership. And we'll get to that in a little while. In your practical day-to-day -day matters position, there are peaks of joy. Why? Because this blessing is coming in in the form of the Ace of Cups. Could be love. Could be that as you are finding excitement in your life, as you accepted that cup from the universe and you left a position where you were feeling stuck, you crawled out from under the weight of something and you got your act together. As you are taking those steps, you're going to receive peaks of joy, peaks of fulfillment, and maybe even a peak of love or at love, a commitment. Now, in your... Inner Strengths position, you have the Sacred Pool card, which is self-reflection, okay? And we've got unhealthy energies. So this could be an addiction. This could be unhealthy ways of thinking. This could be anything that Jesus would not do. And Spirit's saying it's time to look into the Sacred Pool. For when you look into this mirror, do you like what you see? The Sacred pool cards. Ask that you focus on self-love and self-esteem. We are all works in progress. So a detached self-examination made with rigorous honesty is now called for. Reflect by the sacred pool and be at peace with yourself. Can you see how far you've come and how magical life is? Do you notice the spark of the divine shining in your eyes? When you're conscious that you're in the embodiment of spirit, it becomes easier to respect yourself and act in good conscience. And then you'll reap the greatest of rewards. Your unique service to the world is not only needed, but is celebrated. See the love within you and know that if you cast it upon the waters, it will return to you tenfold. Be at peace, for you are beautiful and loved. Act with surety and confidence, and success shall be yours, whatever your inquiry is. Is your inquiry going to be a good thing or a bad thing? Because the choice is up to you. I have a couple cards here representing the end of the month. And we have you guys shining brightly because some of you have chosen to make the right decision to head in a new path. Some of you are going to choose to go around that mountain once again, that long and difficult road. So the choice is up to you. In the first week and a half to three weeks, some of you may, um, Spirit's saying because your compass was in reverse, that you can alter your direction and it may be that some of you are wanting to alter your direction and connect with someone who has water in their chart, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Rising, male or female, because this is general. Someone who is caring, loving, giving. In the next two to three weeks, there's a wishing well. Wanting to race forward, but having to wait, having to go into solitude, having to look at the painful realities of our choices. Now it's time to move forward and come out from the difficult path we have found ourselves on and to clean house, to clean up our lives by listening to spirit and by encouraging ourselves and others that we can receive recognition, we can receive commitments and connections to others that could fulfill us for the rest of our life. So spirit in the outcome position is saying, making a choice. The choice is up to you. What do you want to put all your work and effort into? Do you want to be sneaky? when it comes to maybe where you live. The garden center, or the gentle garden, is upside down, meaning that there 
is almost like someone with an air in their chart, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, sun, moon, or rising, male or female, that somebody wants to kind of get back at. But at the same time, they're trying to come together. So there's some push-pull energy in a connection here. And I think if you guys can have faith, can ask for what you want, someone is going to offer you assistance to some sort of healing okay so this is a lot of stuff either this is something going on at work worried about a commitment information will come in you guys could sign a contract and then you can decide what fulfills you what doesn't i'm feeling this is really a personal thing we're trying to put in a lot of work you know with the empress energies that you want to create a good path your heart is open you want to do the right thing and Spirit's congratulating you with the world card energy saying you may now step into the new portal of this brand new beautiful world because you've gone full circle. You learned the lessons. You understood what you needed to know. And now all you have to do is make the decision to move forward. Spirit is offering you the justice card energies, meaning that this is a major arcana. They're going to help for you to cut away from the things that don't serve you, choices that you make that don't serve you situations people and circumstances that don't serve you so that you can find balance in your path because balance is happiness i see an ending company coming and i think you guys will see an ending company coming wow coming or you will be bringing a situation to an end and spirit saying when you make that right choice your wishes will come true especially when it comes to money listen to spirit ask for guidance Put your messages out there saying what you want for a contract. Because I do see contract now twice. Contract, commitment. Fantasy reality. Looking back at friends. Making decisions. Choosing the right choices to step in a new path and to leave old battles behind. Finding success and fulfillment or choosing the bad choice and watching the tower fall apart, starting from beginning all over. The choice is up to you. Whoever's energies that were was, you can choose success this month and you can step into the blessings of great and beautiful things for the rest of this year. Or you can follow another path and this whole year, and it could even lead into the next six to nine years of just what ever has been that has not been good you are going to receive some positive messages when it comes to a contract if you move in the right direction if you try to reconnect open your heart and figure out what is the right choice i just keep feeling good choice or bad choice and it's like a choice you know but you know all choices are not that easy. We have to start setting goals into how we're going to achieve and accomplish those decisions and choices. All right, so let's move into love and romance. For those of you who like to timestamp, thank you ahead of time at 1309. I'm going to use the Romance Angel deck by Doreen Virtue. Taurus, please love uh, sun, moon, or rising, male or female. On to, in, through to the end of February 2018. Love and romance. Okay, so spirit saying yes. I'm going to clarify by adding the angel tarot deck, which I haven't used in a while by Doreen Virtue. Because it's so big and it's so hard and my wrists have carpal tunnel. Gosh darn it. So you're just going to have to be patient with me for a minute because I do feel like these are the right cards. Love and Romance. Taurus. February. 2018. Okay, we had, uh, boy. Fortune changing when it comes to decisions. Seeing the humor of a situation. Knowing that as you make the right decision, fortune is turning in your favor. So that's what they're saying yes to. They're trying to tell you. Clear away all that no longer serves you. 
that's when things will move forward in a blessed way. It could happen as quick as today if you decide, today I'm going to start making positive decisions that I know are right. In your mental aspects, position spirit saying you're ready. Look at you guys. You look like a trophy. You've come down that long path. You've stepped into this new world. And because you did with the nine of water, your wishes are coming true. Concerns fade away and you guys find a new love for life. Good. In your relationship sector, spirit saying it's time to choose a new direction. It's time to take some time to just rest or go on vacation. Don't make any decisions. Because you're choosing a new direction, right? We have to make those choices. So meditation is going to bring you clarity. You're ready, but just take some time in the next three, four weeks to kind of focus on what it is you want to manifest in your path ahead. Now, if what you're trying to manifest is a relationship, there is a wish coming true, and you're maybe trying to figure out how to creatively draw someone into this new world of yours, there is going to be joy, contentment, and gratitude. You are heading down the po a new path of enlightenment, stepping into a new path, and it could be of romance with someone who has air in their chart, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, but I'm not going to confirm just yet. Now, in the actions position, spirit saying that something is happening in the near future, could be four or five weeks, and with the ten of water, look at that, a rewarding family life. Your emotional and material needs are met and there will be trustworthy relationships because everybody is celebrating. There's so much angel energy here with the purple cards and the blue is love, love, love. So emotionally, Spirit saying, continue to ask your angels about romance. Continue to make wishes for the right person. Because we do have lover's energies here with Archangel Raphael who says intimate relationships. Carefully weigh your decisions and good health. So make sure that you're doing everything uh, to take care of your health, knowing that in the near future, you will be able to decide if you're ready for a connection or not with someone. Because <clears throat> you may hear from, <coughs> pardon me, someone within the next week or two here. You may have already heard from them, actually. All right, so wow, subconsciously, you know that you are in for some really big changes as you're choosing new directions. And you subconsciously may have some fears about money. But, you know, accept help from others. Ask people who you know who can help you get into whatever area to get started on earning some, some money. In your practical day-to-day -day matters position, we've got within the next few weeks. Do not give up. Protect that which you have created. Have courage and believe in yourself. This contract is inevitable. You have the wheel of fortune turning in your favor. You have great things happening as long as you rest before choosing new directions. Take your time to save up money. Take your time to make sure you're picking the right person in your path ahead. So whoever's energies these are, you are unsure. You know, I think, that you could have love of those around you or love of a person your eye is on. But I think now is a time of rest. Those changes will come, and I think you know that. But I think some of you are focused on uh, career first, contracts, applications, however it applies. In your inner strengths position, we've got there's something better ahead of you. And look at, as you're leaving troubled waters behind, you have the inner strengths to understand that things are going to look up. This is the end of a difficult situation. And again, we have something about a trip. Taking a trip, enjoying connections with others. Things moving quickly. Accept help. Accept health. And, and work on your health. Accept health. And then there will be a renewal and time to move into a new direction. And that's when this choice is gonna come. I believe there's gonna be some sort of temptation here in the end to see if you have learned somehow. So to clarify, I'm going to bring in the Wisdom of the House of Night deck by PC Cast and Colette Baron Reed. Taurus, please, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and or Rising. Love and Romance Energies, February, 2018. 
Okay. Okay. So they're pretty much saying as you start off, as you are focused, some of you, on making the right decisions, on clearing away the things that no longer serve you, on maybe connecting to someone or with someone who has air in their chart, uh, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. Now is a time of positive changes, positive and sudden moves forward. So as you move forward, make sure you have a vision for yourself. Make sure you know exactly what the path in front of you is going to be like and remain like. In your thoughts, you are ready. Your wish is coming true. So you may be getting someone that you've been wishing for and spirit saying, be careful when it comes to romance. Take your time. Don't forget what happened in the past. You're ready, you can have what you want, but take your time, or who you want, or however that applies. In your relationship sector, you're choosing a new direction, but before you take a new direction, it's time for a vacation, it's time to stop and think. Because for some of you, someone or something is forbidden. So whatever comes to your mind when I say that, that doorway is blocked. Spirit's trying to say, take the time to think about this new direction because one doorway needs to end. That's why they're saying it's time for a new vision in your life. Because creatively, we've got romance, we've got a new world starting, and we've got the High Priestess of Air supporting you. So the High Priestess of Air is helping to cut anything away that no longer serves you, that no longer fulfills you in your path. It also could be that... There's romance and a new start in the next two to three weeks with someone who has air in their chart. Pisces, Cancer, or Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, pardon me. In your actions position, we have the Ten of Water. Complete and utter fulfillment in the near future and then wanting to move forward towards a vision. But I always notice this horse is not running with any other horses. It's running independently to find fulfillment in the near future. So taking the action steps to follow this new vision, to make the right choices on your own behalf in February. In the next, in the emotional aspects position, ask your angels when it comes to a passionate connection and spirit will show you the answers. They will bring you into the light and you will understand if you should stay with this connection that seemed to have joy, contentment, and gratitude subconsciously there's big happy changes but subconsciously some of you feel like you're trapped when it comes to money this is a figment of your imagination we are never trapped we can always set ourselves free this bird is sticking its chest out trying to act tough when the whole time the door on the back of the cage has been open our cage is always open on earth we can take and move our head body mind situation change our circumstances to be anything we want to be and I think that's what spirit's saying is don't worry about money Take the steps to make these big, wonderful changes happen. And they will be there because the cards are available to show you and to prove to you that the energy is available. In your mental aspects position within the next few weeks, Spirit's saying, don't give up. We're going to send you the High Priestess of Fire. And the High Priestess of Fire is going to help for you to figure out what steps need to be taken to walk into the direction of your vision, the direction of your fortune. And in your inner strengths position, you'll be able to leave troubled waters in the past because you'll understand that there's something better. And what is better? Your own self-worth. So in the near future, as you connect to those that maybe you have become disconnected with, know that in your own independent movement forward, as you set a new vision for yourself, as you're ready to be successful, as you're choosing a new direction to go away from that which has been forbidden in your path by spirit, not only will there be romance, but there will be fun and passionate, exciting beginnings available to you. Renewal, fulfillment, okay? So it's all heading towards fulfillment. The only one that can knock you off your path is yourself, Taurus, for the month of February. Oh, I want to do one more thing. I wanted to pull a card from one of my newer decks called The Universal Love Healing Oracle Cards by Tony Carmine Salerno. These are just awesome. I love these cards. So dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, please bless those born under the sun sign, moon sign, and or rising sign of Taurus with clearly defined messages regarding Taurus's life path here on earth at this time when it comes to love and romance, any particular spiritual guidance or messages. Okay, and the card that jumped out is relationship.
and I'm going to read it because this is new to me so we can learn together. If you are struggling to find a loving and meaningful relationship, it may be worth checking on the relationship you have with yourself first. For all of our relationships with others, they mirror the relationship that we have with ourselves. If you feel that something is lacking in your relationship with another, you will often find the same is lack lacking within your own self. When you find love and meaning within yourself, you will see love and meaning within others. All transforms when we transform. Oof. That was accurate. So, to close, your word of prayer ooh, is Jesus. I pray for Jesus' help and guidance with the situation. And I love how Jesus in this picture has his hand on this child's head because that makes me really feel like Jesus is close to you, protecting you, trying to guide you, and bring you to your highest, best self. To close, I'm reading from the book, Mother Mary sends you this card because you have a close and personal relationship with her son, Jesus. They both hear and lovingly answer your prayers. <clears throat> Pardon me. Jesus offers healing support to you and your loved ones, as well as helping you to have faith in God's miracles of love. This card also is a reminder that Jesus loves you and everyone on this planet, regardless of their faith. He is a wonderful role model of forgiveness, of integrity, and of love that you can emulate in your current situation. Wow. So what you put out is what you will receive in the month of February. Thank you again for stopping by. If you'd like a personal read, my email is josiek42 at gmail.com. Take care and God bless.